Hey friends, it's John Bamman here from Daily Life Gospel. I just went to take my tractor to a friend's house to pick up a tiller to till my garden because the harvest has passed and we've already gathered everything in. We've taken in our corn and we've taken in our tomatoes and we've taken in our peppers and our cucumbers, our beans and our peas and all of our vegetables. And if we hadn't, most of them would be already spoiled by now. And as I was on my way to go and get the tiller from my friend's house, I thought of a scripture in Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 20. It says, the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. And it's a tragic verse because the Bible talks about harvest. The Bible likens us, the souls of men, to a harvest. The Bible says, Jesus said, the fields are white unto harvest. And that means they're ready for harvest. There's many souls in the world right now, and maybe you're one of them. Souls that are ready for the gospel. Souls that are tired of their sin. They're tired of their addiction. They're tired of their alcohol. They're tired of their drugs. They're tired that their marriage, they're frustrated that their marriage isn't working. And their sins seem to be keeping them in bondage. And they want to be free. They want to be free from their addictions. They want to be free from their empty and vain religion. Even men in religion are so empty. And they just wish that they had peace with God. They wish they knew that their sins were forgiven. They wish that they could know for sure that God would accept them. And so it's a tragedy when we think of a harvest that is past. And we're going to be tilling. I'm going to be tilling in our garden today. Now, if I had done that in June or July or August, you'd think I'm crazy. I wouldn't do it in June. I wouldn't do it in July or August. I wouldn't recommend you to do that because there's many precious vegetables in your garden at that time. But the harvest is past now, and that's why I'm tilling down my garden. And there's coming a day when the harvest will be past. There's coming a day when the harvest will be past in your life and all that's left is to trample it underfoot. All that's left is to till it under. All that's left is the judgment. I'm standing just in front of a pumpkin patch here and they're all lined up. And I'm, getting, I'm guessing that they're getting ready to be taken off the field shortly. But if you leave these pumpkins here just a couple more months, they're all gonna go to waste. Time is of the essence. And so it is with your life. This is the harvest time. This is the time when Jesus stands with his arms open wide and he's calling you. And he's saying, if you're thirsty, if you're hungry, if you want to be free from your sin, come to me and I will set you free. Jesus wants to save you. He wants to gather you into his barn, so to speak, with all the good crop. He wants to rejoice over you as a farmer does at the harvest party when he's had a good season. God wants to rejoice over you and make you his very own. But this is the time of the harvest. Do you hear his voice? Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. And Jesus has been lifted up from the earth and he's drawing you to himself, is he not? He wants to save you. He wants to gather you in. This is the time of the harvest. Will you respond? Will you come to Jesus? He's done it all. He's paid the full, price, the full price. He shed his blood on the cross for your sins and made an atonement and a payment for your sins. Will you come to Jesus now before the harvest is over, before it's too late? I want to encourage you, don't wait. Don't put off the day of your salvation because the Bible says today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Don't allow your soul to be spoiled. Don't wait until it is too late. Many have waited until it was too late. They chanced it with their life. They chanced it. And they weren't given as many days as they hoped to have. They weren't given as many days as they desired. And you might not be given that many days either. You might not come to a full life. And besides all of that, Jesus is so wonderful anyways. Why wait till your deathbed to make things right with God and, and, and hope to somehow find peace before God then? Why not come now when Jesus is calling you? When Jesus is bidding you, come, come unto me. 
All ye that weary and are heavy laden, I will give you rest for your souls. As many as come to me, I will in no wise cast out. God wants to save you. God loves you. Do you want to be free from sin? It's good news. I have good news for you. Jesus wants you to be free from sin too, and he can make you free from sin. So I just want to encourage you today. It's harvest time. People are gathering in the harvest everywhere. And God also has a harvest and you're a part of it. Will you come? Will you be reaped for the Lord, so to speak? I want to encourage you. Turn your eyes to Jesus. Cry out to him and make him the Lord of your life. God bless you.